How do you know a boy has a crush on his? Teacher he starts using words like extra, credit and office hours in every sentence sadly his quest for extra credits ends with him bloodied on the streets after getting dirty in the sheets with his crush aka his teacher so does he get an A at the end the movie opens with Lana playing a guessing game with her little daughter Raja while her husband Ward looks at them in affection they seem like a happy little family who gets along really well the scene shifts to a forest where Lana goes for her routine running now the biggest question here is who goes to a forest to run anyway Lana's life seems perfect with a loving family in a well respected job she's a high school teacher but things don't go as easy as planned when a new student named Benny arrives at school during her class she hands out questions dot for a mock test and as she's waiting for the students to finish she feels a piercing gaze at her it is Benny who can't stop staring at her Lana tries to ignore it but it's almost prominent that She's affected by the guy and his beauty. Later that day when she picks up her daughter from school she notices Benny walking his dog her face is marred with desire as she continues to look at him. All right Lana time to change schools. Before you fall for a minor that's not what teachers are for during one session. Dot while one of her students named Jeremy is giving a presentation Lana rebukes two girls for being disruptive when the two students still don't listen to her. She angrily asks them to submit their phones this pisses one of them off who gets back at Lana by swearing at her. Lana loses her calm and asks her to repeat what she has said and the student has the audacity to say it again after that incident Lana notices Benny's weird behavior she spots him dumping the belongings of the girl who had sworn at her on the floor he also trashes her bicycle right in front of her worried about the guy she asks one of her colleagues about him but doesn't receive any satisfactory answer her interest in him begins to peak soon she decides on on discussing the matter with Benny itself she invites him into a vacant classroom and expresses her worry she advises him that though it might be hard for him to have shifted schools in the middle of the semester he should try to get along with his peers Benny laughs it often in turn asks her what she dot actually wants from him when Lana touches his thigh in a gesture of comfort he takes it otherwise she pulls her hand away immediately he also has the audacity to smirk at his teacher lana is no better she seems flustered and the conversation ends abruptly her fascination and inappropriate attraction towards benny don't stop at home she checks out his student profile to get some insight into his cryptic behavior or rather on him and his attractive nature she literally cannot seem to get him out of his mind she's pulled out her thoughts only when raja asks for dinner later she's seen running in the forest yet again possibly to clear her mind there's a zoom in on her face where she almost looks haunted by her in a appropriate feelings towards her student dot the next day when all the students leave after class lana spots benny's backpack she finds his probably sweaty jacket and inhales creepily she glances around too make sure that no one has witnessed that gross display of attraction she rushes to the washroom to catch her breath and lo and behold there stands the owner of the sweaty jacket benny touches her chest and lana who's already all hot and bothered after the jacket sniffing momentarily gives into her forbidden desire she catches herself and asks benny to forget about the turn of events yes please do you're a minor and this is criminal behavior lana back at home she's plagued by the incident in school while her husband sleeps beside her without a clue the interaction between Benny and Lana doesn't stop though the next day during class Benny keeps staring at her until Lana is forced to meet his eyes after class he approaches her in the hallway and asks her to meet him after school frustrated Lana him into a corner and requests him to forget dot about her as the thing between them is wrong well no kidding Sherlock but Benny is not one to handle rejection well Lana finds the side view mirror of her car smashed she guesses the identity of the culprit but what can she do she proceeds with her day and goes to pick up her daughter as usual on the way though she stops in her tracks when she sees a group of guys on the sidewalk and of course one of them has to be Benny later that day when her husband inquires about the damaged car she just lies and says that she has hit a lamppost although ward realizes that she's lying he 
doesn't press on the issue as much and calmly invites her to drink her tea. Things take a bad turn for Lana after that during one of her classes as she's distributing mock papers Benny makes some sexual and inappropriate gestures about Lana and the headmistress. Obviously infuriated by the disrespect, she asks him to leave either he leaves or she does as expected Benny refuses to leave as the entire class hoots and throws stuff at Lana feeling humiliated. She leaves the classroom later she runs in the forest to clear her mind but feels someone's eyes on her as she glances around there's no one in sight. Back at home Lana is seen teaching Raja. She gets a phone call but when she picks dot up the receiver she hears some low noise from the opposite end she hangs up and tries to resume teaching Raja annoyingly. She's interrupted once again this time. She doesn't pick up the call and disconnects the receiver as she knows who's calling it's the way Lana can't dot catch a break throughout the entire movie the next day at school is extremely difficult for Lana when she sees Benny in class she turns around and bolts she just cannot bring herself to face the class and Benny after the humiliation she calls in sick and leaves back at home when Ward asks her about her day she lies about it and talks about an assessment interview she also mentions to him that she has been teaching the whole day satisfied with her answer Ward doesn't ask much anymore she she continues to ditch school the next day as well spending time by the river instead one day she visits an art gallery as she's looking at the pieces in the exhibition she feels a familiar gaze on her back and guess who it is benny of course after disrespecting his teacher he's now stalking her seeing him she leaves and proceeds to go to a different part of the room benny is adamant and follows her she feels how close he is and bolts yet again like let the woman live she manages to lose him and tries to leave while he's frantically searching for her she rushes towards the elevator but as the door is about to close Benny steps in oh well there hasn't ever been a good record for elevators and sexual attractions combined together anyone can guess what's to crop up Benny requests Lana to come back to school as he misses her he finally manages to seduce her and puts his desperate hands all over her he pulls away when she tries to kiss him. The reason is left unclear though but he satisfies his teacher in various other ways Lana Fine finally gives in to her temptation forgetting about morals and most importantly the law afterwards Lana sits in her car and stares at her husband and daughter she's consumed by guilt at what had transpired between her and the minor later she confides in her husband about a dream that has been bothering her at summer and her family is swimming her husband and Raja are playing with the ball on the beach while she's swimming in the ocean of force seems to pull Lana down and no matter how hard she's trying to make her way to the beach she cannot she's ultimately pulled underwater where she's struggling to breathe unfortunately she isn't strong enough to stop it thus she somehow reveals to her husband about her infidelity and bluntly speaking crime Lana is seen to be running in the forest once again and only stops when she reaches the lake she throws a stone at the lake and stirs things up both literally and metaphorically metaphorically how let's find out Lana's guilt is eating her up so she finds a way to add to her already lousy behavior she steals some documents probably test papers from the teacher's locker and goes to the cafeteria there while Benny is having fun with his friends completely unaware of what's to follow Lana quietly slips the document into his jacket back at home thinking that she has gotten rid of him she spends more intimate time with her husband in school. Benny is interrogated by the authorities while Lana looks at him with a smile of satisfaction it's the way she's proud of getting her student expelled through. Tacked after getting her student expelled she is seen spending some romantic time with her husband in the lake while they are fooling around her husband playfully goes underwater but Lana starts panicking when he does come up after a short while but her panic is short-lived. When he startles her again Lana abruptly wakes up from her sleep as it turns out. It is just a dream in school Lana notices Benny's empty seat and gets reminded of him and their time together. Dot it's almost as if she misses his presence she's pulled out of her thoughts at at the sound of the bell. Even after getting the kid expelled she still cannot seem to get him out of her mind later she takes Raja to the 
bookstore to find a gift for her friend. Raja gets mad at her mother for not buying anything for her annoyed at Raja. Lana rebukes her and walks away assuming that she's following her when she looks. Back Raja is nowhere to be seen she tries to search for her in the bookstore and freaks out more and more when she can't she informs the police who check the surveillance cameras Lana freezes when she sees Benny near her daughter thinking that he might have done something to her her worry is cut short when Ward calls her to inform her that Raja is home with him still she cannot shake off the uneasiness that she keeps feeling later that night she hears forceful bangs on the front door but finds nothing when she goes to check it as she locks the door she gets reminded of her experiences with Benny yet again dot his presence both haunts and tempts her as she struggles to move past the memory of her dark experiences Ward notices the shift in Lana's mood and asks her about it instead of replying she just moves closer to her husband this doesn't stop here though it's now her turn to stalk Benny she follows him in her car as he's riding his scooter she keeps following the oblivious Benny clearly searching for an opening to harm the unaware boy she abruptly swerves her car at him forcefully hitting him after a moment dot she comes to a stop she's breathing heavily but she looks satisfied she swiftly opens the door to check the consequences of her actions does she kill him well who knows as if having an inappropriate relationship with a student wasn't enough for her to be a criminal lana takes it upon herself to turn into a murderer 